Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, a retired life parent turned homeschool mom. And in this video, we're going to look at something a little different. So we're going to be looking at some of the, at least one of, we have like four of these. These are the books depicting the comic strip, Calvin and Hobbes. So this is a favorite of my husband's. So that's why we have several of the books. Um, he loved these comics when he was a kid. Uh, so it, it, it's very, very cute. And they're fun. So, the author and the illustrator for these is Bill uh, Watterson. Now, he's interesting in the fact that, as opposed to other comic strips, particularly, say, Peanuts, whom you're familiar with, uh, Charlie Brown, Watterson is more of an artist in that he doesn't like the commercialization of comic strips. Comic strips. So, he never sold the rights to merchandising when it comes to Calvin and Hobbes. He fought like crazy to prevent that and to have full creative control over his creation. So he fought for like the first six years of its creation until he wrestled full control over his art. And that's very much what he sees Calvin and Hobbes as. It's his art. He's very much an artist um, in the truest sense. He doesn't like that commercialization. So you will never see any official Calvin and Hobbes merchandise ever. It doesn't exist. If you see anything, it, it, it's not, uh, it's not official. It's not sanctioned by Watterson himself, who has full control over the comic strip. Now, these ran in most, in several newspapers between November 18th, 1985, and December 31st, 1995. So, in the later years from the 90s on to that 95 thing, um, Watterson took a couple of breaks before fully ending the series. Uh, in, like, December of... What was it? December of 95. Yeah. So, and... So, he basically, he couldn't... He believed he couldn't go any further with this. So that is how it, it ends. So what is this? What is this comic strip about? So this comic strip revolves around Calvin, who's a six-year-old mischievous little boy um, with a very active imagination. His two parents, his father, who is frequently, he, his father gets in trouble periodically because he tells Calvin things he probably shouldn't have and Calvin is calling for his mother, and she's, her reaction is, well, okay, what did you tell him now? And basically kind of rolling his, rolling her eyes. And the other main character is Hobbes. Now, Hobbes has a dual nature, and that's kind of what the story revolves, or the comic strip revolves around. To everybody not Calvin, Hobbes is a stuffed tiger. He's a toy. To Calvin, he's an anthropomorphic living creature with opinions and talks to him and that's Hobbes to Calvin but again to everybody else he's a toy and you do see this in some of the comic strips so the other main character is his schoolmate um Susie Durkins I believe is her name um yes Susie Durkins so those are the main those are the characters in this story that's it you have the two parents you have Calvin you have Hobbes and you have Susie Durkins Nobody's ever mentioned by name. I think occasionally he mentions teachers randomly, but that's it. And that's the way he, uh, Watterson introduced these, all these characters in like the first three weeks of the comic strip. So, and that pretty much, that was the cast the entire time. So these are fun. Um, I'll link some of the books. We have several. Uh, they're cute to read. They're very hilarious. There's not... I'll maybe read one of them. He, it, it's obvious. It's very much in the United States. It's in the American Midwest. It snows where he lives, so you get that. Um, looks like there is one with a school bully in here, which I've opened the page to. So let's see. You have Calvin's like bully says, "I'm going to pound you in gym class, shrimp. Get your get your kicks off now because you granular freak because." Once you grow up, you can't be beating people up for no reason. Yeah, guess you're right. That really wasn't what I meant. So you have a little comic strip where he and Calvin ends up 
banged into the lockers. Um, he's a very cute, precocious child. Um, let's see. Not very one with actual hobs in it. Let's see. We can find one. There we go. So, middle of the night, waking mom up. Mom, mom. What is it? What's the matter? Do people grow, grow from spores? And, of course, mom screams at him. It's like, you woke me up in the middle of the night to ask me a stupid question. So, you see that, and you see Hobbs in next, into the bed next to him. So, but yes, you have various ones of these comic strips. He's, I think, one of the other things that he does is he, um, this is Watterson's comments on polling, um, where he'll poll his father. <laughs> essentially to be his poll numbers are up or down so he treats like his father is going up for election or something so these are fun to look at you can um i think you can probably still buy some of the the books like this um and look at them there's no real politics or anything so they they haven't dated all that much except for of course they don't really have the technology but that doesn't play into these type of stories again he's a six-year-old boy so he's precocious he's funny this is probably a good thing to share to young kids if you just or if you have a reluctant reader looking for something to entertain them something to get them encouraged in reading similar to graphic novels these are old comics and they're put into book form so and again these were i'm covering these because these are a favorite of my husband's so he loved reading them we'll probably read them to our children or our daughter on that count so that's it for this review. Um, if you like what you see, be sure to like and subscribe. I cover a lot of children's books, various films, some educational um, stuff. We are a secular, non-religious, homeschooling family. So we, I will cover some of that, particularly as my child gets older. She's still under, let's see, as of this video, she's still two. So we're not quite doing the homeschooling stuff yet. But we'll also, I also do some travel, kids travel stuff as we get going. Um, Again, my daughter is very young, and we've been dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, so we haven't really been able to travel that much. So, be sure to check out the rest of my channel. I have a lot more planned and a lot available. Thank you.